Welcome back to Studio South Africa and today you join me in the Eastern Cape. We're in PE and we're doing the reality read with Ford South Africa. As you can see behind me, and I hope you guys can hear me because there's a lot of noise where I am right now. There's a Ford there, that's the one we're gonna be in. There's more Fords there, there's also the Raptor, and I know you guys love the Raptor. And then yeah, so stay tuned, I'm gonna be documenting everything. Documenting, documentary. I'm gonna be documenting everything. It's a five day, four night thing. So today's the first day we landed in, in PE around like 12 o'clock. And yeah, I'll sh you guys will be seeing what's going on for the whole next few days. So keep it locked. I hope you like the content. Shoot. last stop for the day and this is where we'll be sleeping I'm tired um, so after you guys are gonna see presentation so this is where we'll be sleeping and then after here just like a quick um, shower or whatever for an hour and then we're gonna go to the presentation they're gonna tell us what the whole rally to read is for and then prepare for tomorrow because the actual event is tomorrow and yeah so for now all you gotta do is enjoy eh? All you gotta do is enjoy. So I hope you guys like the content. Rally to Read, many of you will probably not have heard of before this weekend because we're not what I would call a mainstream program. We deliberately operate out of the main areas. Um, we started in 1998 when the Human, uh, Human Science Research Council asked the McCarthy group just to send some schools up into Uncandla or some vehicles up into Uncandla mm -hmm. because they said you won't believe the, 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 the atrocious education. So Brant Pretorius, who many of you will know, he launched the program just into Uncandla. Then he came to us at the Financial Mail the next year and said we need to make this a national program and that's what we've been doing ever since. At the moment we're doing I think six programs, at the peak we were doing ten we're probably going to get back up there again in the next two or three years. But what it's all about is that it's very much a case of out of sight, out of mind. All these remote rural schools, the government doesn't see. Good morning, YouTube. Um, this is day two, but this is actually the the day of the rally event, the reach rally. So this is the baby that I've been driving yesterday and today and I think for the rest of the few days and then as you can see there's the other car so today this is going to be going to the schools you guys will see this after after this whole clip actually you guys will see that we're going to the schools so I'm team red but Ford gave us a pink cap but I like it actually but we're team red so yeah we'll be going to the schools we'll be donating there's actually things in so let me just rotate so this is actually what it is ready to read and then let me just show you guys the thing so as you can see we have soccer balls here we have food there's quite a lot of things i don't even know what's in the boxes but we're gonna fill that up for the kids and then we're gonna just donate basically and obvious this one is the limited so it has the pan panoramic sunroof and then so yeah so we'll be heading off to schools we're in different teams there's yellow there's blue there's green and we team red so i hope you guys like the content and Let's hit it! So we've arrived at our first school um, at Rocklands. Um, it's in the Eastern Cape. So yeah, this is their stuff. We're gonna just upload it now and take it to them. So just stay tuned. You guys will see the content. And as always, I'm showing you the electric tailgates in the Ford Everest. And as always, you gotta see the source of place. <laughs> I am a department head at the school. Uh, I am representing the SMT, the principal and this company. I wish to welcome you at the school and I hope your stay here, your presence here will make a change to these uh, uh, taking minds. I believe programs like this 
came at a time when the, the country is experiencing challenges due to the pandemic. We had to change uh, the programs of the school. The schooling was not normal due to the alternating timetable. Today is day three. Um, I didn't shoot the like after the visit visited the schools. I didn't shoot that like I was tired and a lot was going on. So this is day three. Um, this is where we were spending the night um, for the past two nights actually. So now we are leaving. We're going to go. Well, not leaving now, but we're going to eat breakfast and then after that we're gonna leave and go drop off the people that drove down from. Joburg to PE. I'm um, at the airport because they need to leave, and then we're gonna drive up from PE to to Joburg. So basically, the summary is we visited two schools because I was Team Red, um, but don't mind the pink cap. I was actually Team Red, and we visited two schools. One, the first one was Rockland, it was a farm school. The second one was David Vogel School. Um, so we visited them, gave them the books, donated all the lending materials that will better them for their future. And because the schools around Eastern Cape, especially in the rural areas, don't get the same attention as other schools. So we did that. And because we were a team, every team, well, there's four teams there's red, there's yellow, there's blue, there's green. So four teams. All those four teams visited two schools each. So all in all, for yesterday, we like, all in all, we visited eight schools and we gave feedback. I'm sure you guys would have seen the presentation feedback before this. Um, I took a video of my team, obviously speaking. Um, and then, yeah, so don't be surprised when you don't see me no more. Um, just know that there's a lot going on, but I'll always come back and update you. And yeah, so basically, that's what we're doing. And for donation, um, there's actually a if you, if the public like you, if you guys would like to donate, um, there's a link that I'll put in the description below. You can click that link and then you donate and then they'll hit, they'll, they'll hit you up and then you speak to them and then actually all of that. And as I'm taking this video, I'm doing it on purpose because I want you guys to see that. See that thing? There's the Fort Devere spot. I really love that car. That car looks very beautiful because of that girl. That that girl um but yeah that's not my car unfortunately because that car doesn't have a panoramic sunroof so my one is the one with the panoramic sunroof here it is this is the everest limited basically this one has adaptive cruise let me tell you the quick differences that i've noticed in the everest sport and everest limited so the everest sport it has that beautiful grill. If I could take this grill and put on the limited, I'd be happy. So the Everest Sport has the grill. It's written Everest at the top, like in black. Um, it has the 20-inch um, alloy wheels in black. And then at the back, there's that black bar. I'll show you now on the on the on the limited Everest because it's silver on the limited. And interior-wise, it doesn't have the panoramic sunroof, you know. But I understand why. The one I'm in. This one, this is the limited, the Everest limited, hence the badging here. So when I said the sport has a black bar, I mean over here. This part, as you can see here, let me just, on this vehicle, this part is silver, right? On the Everest sport, it's black. And yes, another thing mine has is an electric tailgate. I don't think it will open up. Yeah, there. My one has an electric tailgate. The Everest Sport doesn't have an electric tailgate. So let's just show you inside the vehicle. This one has keyless entry. I think the Everest 
also has killer's entry so don't mind that so this one the party piece right i guess ready why i chose it is that the Everest Sport doesn't have um, a panoramic sunroof. This is the limited. It has a panoramic sunroof. And moving to the back, what this one has that the Everest Sport doesn't have is basically this. Um, the Everest Sport only has the the what do you call this? The the 12 volt socket. This one has literally the, the drip pin um, charging socket. Or for, if you want to iron can i <laughs> so that's the main differences but honestly let me just move to the front that you get in the limited the limited has this type of grill so if i could take this grill out and put the black grill so i'm now literally do a, a direct comparison just look at this grill now let's quickly move oh that's my bag there on the floor don't mind that let's quickly move the Ever Sport. You can see the Ever Sport grill, and it looks way meaner and much more beautiful in front. And then this one comes with these alloy wheels in silver and and black inserts. And then the Ever Sport is fully black. So yeah, this car honestly just that car. It just looks better, but features-wise, no. If I could have that look with the panoramic sunroof and oh the adaptive cruise control as well this one just has normal cruise control that has adaptive cruise control and adaptive cruise control is very important and yeah so this is day three um there's not a review it's a basic travel vlog um so yeah keep it locked i'm gonna be sharing um, what will be going on throughout the week or for the rest of the two days and if you don't like watching me I'm actually gonna ride for Carmack. So, the day this video drops, the day um, on Carmack, they'll be um, putting it in the, 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 my article into their, their, their website and also their magazine. So, when the magazine comes out, I'm gonna tell you to go and buy it. So, yeah, keep it locked. <laughs>